Welcome everyone, back to another video. And today, I'm going to tell you a story of a person called Edmund. Edmund lives in the twilight forest with his family. And one day, he was walking in the woods and something tragic happened. He, got to turn, he heard a massive bang, turned around, ran back to his house, only to find it destroyed. Well, mostly destroyed. No one was there, just some cobwebs and holes in the side. Started looking around the house to see if there's anything left at all for him. Most of the stuff being taken apart from a little bit of food. All the chests and everything was empty apart from that food. Stood there for a little bit, trying to work out what to do. Well and sure, he decided to give her some food and supplies that was left over. And go out and start to find what happened to everyone. His house, his family and everyone. So, so that's like a normal Minecraft adventure. We need to punch trees and get some gather resources. So I'm going to do a little explain of what this is. Basically I've started, decided to do a roleplay server with some people. And my role is a, a, is Edmund, as you see in this character now. And I live in, the, basically the backstory of Edmund, he lives in, like I see, he lives in the twilight forest. Just an open, just having fun, playing, doing other stuff. And this happens to him. We just find these obsidian pillars, obviously created by this. So we do knowing this, knowing the history of the Twilight Forest because he lives there, he knows that it's the Lich. The Lich has done this. He's back and returned. So now here, Edmund had a goal set in mind. He was going to take find the Lich and take it out to save all those people. Little thing, little fact about Edmund. All he cares about is his people. He doesn't. He cares about his people. He will. He doesn't like attacking people, but he will stop anything in his way to save his people from harm. Little things so that's going to happen later. Yeah. So. As Edmund was exploring, he found this maze. He'd seen them before, but never been in one. Oh, the walls hit hurt if you hit them, so you have to be careful. He could hear a lot of zombies and different stuff that were going to hurt him if he wasn't careful. So he prepared some tools that he'd already got and started exploring. After much exploring, he finally found one of the areas with all the spiders and stuff in. So he began taking them down so he could get to the spawner. But of course, being spiders, being spiders, they climb, so he kept jumping on top of his head. There's also little spiders in the one next to him that kept coming as well. Wasn't fun for him. As he was there, he looted the chest to get better stuff. He got a bow, which is good for long range attacks. He's a massive swordsman, but he's better with. He'll use anything to his advantage. He now got rid of two of the spawners blocking his path. Not knowing where to go, he started to follow the sound of zombie groans and work out where they are. Apparently they're hiding underground, which is fun. So of course he dealt with them. In the hallway, the car hit him.
I have to deal with the zombies. I have to remember that he could just climb. He could just place blocks under and climb above the maze to find his way around easier. Well, of course, the bushes hurt though when you stand on them, so you have to be careful. But you've seen the angry dogs, wolves. That always next stop. The fun thing about the bushes though, they don't just hurt Edmund when they stand on him, it hurts the dogs as well. So when they jump up there, like that, they get hurt also. I was taking some time to heal off because the wolves are strong and did a number on him just because he's got no armor. So he decides to go and finish them off and get some more loot to help him take on the late boss. After taking out the last spawner and collecting the last bit of loot we could get, he said the pilot seat just in case he'd miss anything. After checking he'd not see anything, he found a massive cave just out of the exit of the maze. This would be the perfect place for him to start getting iron and other materials down in the forest to get armour and better tools. You can see a lot of mob monsters down there. And just because he had some resources in him already from a little bit he'd found, he started to craft some stuff just for Eddie's to go down. Fun fact about platinum, it's nearly as good as iron. There's only a slight difference between them and iron. So you can use it as just as good as iron armour. As you can see, he was checking which is better for what.
after checking multiple times to make sure he was doing it right. He made some, he started making his new and improved gear. The new sword, stronger than his stone one. New pickaxe so he could mine, hopefully with some better stuff as he went down the cave. And a little bit of armour to protect him from all the monsters and stuff that wanted to face him. Finally feel a bit more prepared, he gathered his stuff up and went down the cave to take out Once they're down there and gather some more resources to get some more better stuff Ed been in this cave for a while now exploring Going deeper and deeper Fighting multiple things, getting shot in the face by arrows constantly Winning archery battles against skeletons. We finally started making some progress to better resources. Hopefully, help him prepare a bit more. Nothing was a match for him at the moment, especially with his new improved armor. Oh, so the monsters were stupid and kept attacking each other, so they kept fighting each other, helping him out as well. Especially when they don't. Want when zombie attacked the skeleton here, and the skeleton didn't shoot back. I had loads of stuff in his time, so he knew that Lapis was good for enchanting. So he decided to gather some of the was here to make his gear even stronger. I got a bit further down, he found some of this new. Other are. This is also been made to use armor and weapons. We gathered it up. We're hopefully making some some gear. We can't get in a, enough for some other stuff. Edmund's goal here was diamond, but this blue geo stuff will work if you can't find any diamonds. The more it's fought, the more this item became dead ends after dead ends. Going down deeper and finding nothing, but finally, after so long of exploring, he finally found some diamonds. This is what he needed to help take down the boss once and for all. After exploring and not finding much more, Edmund decided to go to the surface and prepare. And finally he made it. But not he wasn't alone when he got to the top. One of the Lich's minions were here. They infested another infected another house and took it over. Firing poison at each other and Edmund. <laughs> and again, because they're stupid, they started attacking each other. So Edmund just stood and watched and took out the winner of the duel. Curious, Edwin decided to go towards the house to see what was happening to it. See if he could work out what happened to his own. Also, apparently, the shields don't block the more poison magic stuff. Which I think is a bit weird, but. Edwin entered the house to fight, just to find more in there. So there were no match for him. After destroying the spawn, he started to check the twi the chests. <laughs> and he decided to go upstairs. Or oh, up the ladder. Because he could hear more. Upstairs. I 
I was taking out the spawner upstairs, I knew it was safe. I started to look for some, and got some more food. Help him out later. He decided to use the house as the point of rest to prepare some more stuff ready for the battle with the lich. It was finally time. We found the lich tower. We got in some stronger gear. It's time to take out the lich and save everyone from its evil. We were greeted by some zombies and some floating books. Which is also fun. Skeletons are getting to grow in every day as well. But of course, being daft, they started attacking each other. So he took on the one that was attacking him and let the others fight each other. out the remaining ones on the bottom floor. The problem with this tower is that the skeleton spawners in different levels of the staircase you have to go up. Which would make it harder for him to get up. Also holes in the stairs don't help. Oh, another quite tired as well. We want to give him Edmund the scale that we required to stop the magic of the lich so they could take it out and enter the castle. I don't know what it, he doesn't know what it does, but he, all he got told was that he needed it. So that's why he has it. They just keep coming, the spawners kept spawning, but he's slowly making progress up the stairs to take them all out and stop them from spawning. At this point, Edwin was running low on food, but he, he was so close to being able to take on the lich itself. After doing some final preparations, waiting for his mummy to disappear, he went up to fight the lich. Luckily he'd learned how to take on the Lich. He needs to fire these ender pills to fire the, him and his clones fire out. To take down his shields so he could start fighting with his sword. This is the first stage of his. And he also fires fireballs as well which you can't reflect so you have to avoid them. Once you defeated that, he had to take on his minions and avoid his fireballs. 
Because of with everything being smart, 55 fireballs, it could also hurt his minions. So Edwin used that to his advantage. And after all the minions taken out, it was a one on one battle. Edwin versus Lich. Sword v Sword. The Lich does a lot of damage, but Edwin also can get a combo in. And with that, they'll both flow. Edwin heals it one more time and goes in for the final hit. And there goes the Lich. Edwin had defeated the Lich. And his minions and everything. And saved Twilight Forest from its evil wrath. Also got his head and his staff as a reward for doing it. Now that Edmund had defeated the Lich. And told his people that they are safe for now. They made him High King of the Twilight Forest. Doing this, Edmund swore that he would protect his people and defend from any other villains or anything that wanted to dare hurt his people. Also, the, doing this, he wants to learn about the different beings or other things travel they can. He already knows about an apostle that can take him to another dimension. Him and his guards are protecting the castle, but at first he also has to clear it out and rebuild it for himself. Edwin now being king, had lots of work to do, but he rightfully earned his crown. He's now ruler of the Twilight Forest.